And that's it. Sure. It's not, we're not. We're not. Dude. Oh! Welcome back, everybody. Today's video, we're gonna be doing a DIY ice sled. For some reason, Jesse's not happy with the the last one we have, so we're designing a new one. He wants to make it better to support more weight. He wants to make it lighter. He just wants to try a new design, so we're gonna be recording that for you guys today. But before we get to the video, I'd like if you guys could hit that subscribe button. Um, we're growing right now, especially during the season, during ice fishing. And I'd really appreciate it if you guys could hit that subscribe button, even share, like, comment, let me know what you guys want to see. We have all kinds of hobbies. We're going to be doing videos on cooking, ice fishing, fishing, hunting, uh, gardening even, DIY projects, all these fun things. And we're very, very beginner friendly. So please hit that button. I'd appreciate it a lot. Also, I want to make this quick, but we're selling lures on Amazon. We've got paddle tails. We got spinners. We got these new lures that I'm excited for you guys to try. We're just selling them in Canada right now. The palatels and spinners are in the US, but we are selling the ice fishing kit. It's five different spoons that we picked out that we think is very versatile and you could use it on perch, walleye, whitefish, lake trout, all kinds of things. Here it is. Check it out. I'll put the links all in the description. I'd appreciate it if you guys go ahead and leave a review also. Uh, even if you haven't tried it out, maybe just leave a review on what it looks like, what you guys like the colors, all this kinds of stuff. But anyways, let's get to the video and uh, enjoy. All right, so what's the design look like for this little sled here? Jesse gonna draw it out. I'm gonna draw it quick. It's gonna be really bad drawing. You guys are gonna see the real uh, engineering skills here. All right, so pretty much this is what it's gonna look like from the side. So I have these skis, they're like that. <laughs> Probably about six feet and now I'm gonna put Attach them to the sled like you see in my other ones. Same same concept like that, right? That that's what my old sled looks like, and it has a little frame on it, but it's much wider, right? So we're gonna go about half the width of it, and we're gonna double the layer on it. So we're gonna have two layers. So this is gonna be where the tents are, and the auger. Let's put aug, tents aug, and then I'm gonna put all the gear up here. Oh. Dyslexia gear and the fish finder and the aqua view. It's gonna go up here. So at the bottom, with, well, the bottom two levels. Two levels. The bottom is gonna be nothing, and then we'll put the I guess the rods here too. And what kind of wood are you, you using? Well, and then I'm gonna put one by ones with like 90 brackets in between, just to give it support over here, over here, and over here. But then, looking at it from the front view, I'm gonna be doing a design like this. So that this is the, these are the skis right here, and that's one level, and that's the second level. So that's going to look like from the front. That way, it can take a lot of weight, and it won't flex like my other one does. Okay, so the layout is going to look like that. So that's the tent. So this is our three-person tent, and you know, if you ice fish and you get a three-person tent, you know it's really only good for two so people these are comfortably. The holes. And that's us. That's and us. The gear is going to be in the middle. And then the aqua view is going to be on one side, and the fish finder is going to be there. So we never have to take out uh, the fish finder. We never have to take out our gear and move it in and out of the tent. All we got to do is slide this sled in the tent and close the door, and then we're good to go. All right. So pretty much what I'm doing is I'm gonna be measuring roughly how long this is here. So it's about six feet. So just what I thought, six feet long and 10 probably about half inch clearance on either side. So the maximum length of it overall tip to tip on our sled is gonna be six feet. I want to the width. width which looks pretty small. We got... Hmm. Very small. Once this is fully spread out, you got about two feet. Yeah. About two feet, but I think but if, we're if gonna you're double it... decker, If you're double decorating it, though, like, you don't need... You don't need it to be that wide. I think we're gonna call it 22. Just under two feet. Or, yeah. 
22, we're gonna call it. Now, there's one other thing I need to know. What do you think the width of our gun cases are? 12 inches. 12 inches? Yeah. So maybe we should make it 24. You gonna record or just help me, like you know, put in the bike here? Watch me struggle. Exactly. Like what I'm foot. doing. So four two by twos. Hopefully they have. Oh yeah, four two. four two, two two by twos. By eight. By, by eight yeah, by eight feet. They have hopefully. Last time I went there, they had wood. Okay, that's what we need for sure to make the frame of it. No, I got that other wood too. You need two by fours for the uh, the front and back. No, that's what I have that hardwood for. Oh. The front and back of it. It's gonna be heavy. Yeah, but I gotta see, maybe I can do, I would like to do those two triangles, and then maybe one two by four shooting right across the top of it, just for like structural stability. So maybe, maybe two two by fours. And you got those extra wooden skis that you're gonna use? And I got those extra wooden skis as well. But there's one thing I'd like to do. I'd like to seal, get one paint, or what is it called? I guess it's like a clear coat. Because they're old wooden skis, right? You so lacquer. they're a little bit rough. Yeah, clear coat, lacquer, whatever is going to give it. Well, you got those wooden skis, so you want anything on the bottom? For what? For, for slipperiness. There's not really a lot of material I can put on there. Except you put for the a clear, clear coat, coat, yeah. Except for the clear, work. anything else will get chewed up if I yeah, go over the gravel. But it usually has a clear coat on it, those, but it might be very old. No, so. yeah, they're very old, so yeah, they're going to need a clear coat, maybe a little paint as well. Okay. All right, they uh, don't really have much wood. Yeah, nice. I told you. I said. They got some trim. You want to make it out of trim? Yeah, we'll make it out of trim and maybe some PVC piping. Look at this, look at this. this is there, oh that, oh okay Jess, feel this. And it's glued. Yeah, look, look. I bet you, I bet you absorb lots of water. Look, look. That's light. Dude, I can really. It's glued. It's like balsa wood. All right. Okay, wait, let's see if they got any like, who cares. We'll get, we'll get two? Two's good, sure. It's not, we're not, we're not. Dude. It's not, we're not, we're not. Hurry up. Hurry up. <laughs> Hurry up. <laughs> you broke, you broke, you broke it. Fresh cans. Wait, Hurry up. Are ours. Yeah, Did you drop those? No. 60 bucks. No, we didn't even get any wood yet. All right, now we gotta pay probably about 100 bucks for like four pieces of wood. Or more than that. Off to Home Depot, where you actually get wood, which I said the first time. I said that. Here we are, where you actually get wood. Yeah. Like I said. Nice mug. Is that your mom's? It is my mom's. It smells so fresh in here. Straight? Okay, it's as straight as you're gonna get in Canada. Four bucks. That's the price we're looking for. All right. Must be more trees. Yeah. More trees. Oh. Banana? Banana. We're back now. We got our wood. Now time for the fun part. We can actually start building. But Jesse got to figure out some degrees now because he doesn't trust me. Engineers. He can't do anything about them, you know. This is gonna. This is what the front of the sled's gonna look like, and here's the miter degrees that we need to cut it on. So right here it's gonna be 53, I believe, and then so that's a very sharp degree, and then here you just have we're gonna have to do 63, so that that'll be uh, 26.5, and yeah, there that is. Oh. 
See that? Three more to go. Yeah, we should have done a stack there. Dude, don't throw shit at my foot, it's broken. Slow, slow motion there. Alright, what we got here? Just show them how it's done, what the front's gonna look like. Just join two together. Okay, so. Don't worry about that one there, that, that one wasn't, wasn't wrong. No, 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 show. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. Alright. Sorry if it's a little smoky in here, but that's a doll blade. It's gonna be like this, All right? Front and back. And this is gonna be nice and tight, strong, lightweight. And, and also then, here, so here, Jess, I was gonna get the set square, draw a line in the middle, mark it every few inches, and then we could drill one inch or yeah, one inch will work holes. And that'll well, we allow can do a three that'll inch allow three inch. if when it's windy, that air will go right through. And because this is gonna be a big. Like when you're going against wooden with this, if you put holes in it, it'll help a lot. We're gonna figure out how tall this is to this. This to this first. That's the first thing. What is that? So for the second decker, we're gonna go like this, right? For the second decker. Yeah. Maybe with a with a, a two by two, or we can even go like this, and then drill the two by twos on on the end of that. So. I don't want to do this is what the front and the back's gonna look like, and it's notched here. And this is notched because of snow, you said. And then you're saying the first well, level's mean, gonna the be first... right here, plus two inches. Yeah. Or what? Inch and or, a half. Or, or yeah, an inch and a half. This is the width of the of the ski. And then that, or the one uh, two by twos, are gonna go like that. All right, now that we have the front and back together, Jesse cut these old skis he got for five bucks off an old man. And now we're gonna put these, spread them out, make sure it's square, put these on top. And with some, you got some angles? Got some 90 degree angles that I put somewhere, I don't know where they are. And these are very, obviously very, very light. Well, they're, so. they're cross country skis. You see the bow in them? These are cross country skis, right? So they're not ideal, but once we actually put weight on it, then it'll be flat. Too, That'd be right? good because that's that's like a trailer, like a, a trailer that holds a lot of weight, like a. No, I think they're, it's designed, they're bowed. I think they're designed to be bowed for cross country skiing, so they can pick it up. When they pick it up, when they pick it up, it bows and then yeah. presses down yeah. because it's flat when they're standing on it. Yeah. So when they go up, they go take another step or whatever they do, cross country skier. There, like that. Okay, that's it. Okay. Are you okay, Lou? I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, dude. That was on camera. You know that. <laughs> Are you okay? <sighs> Cut it four, in four inches so we can use it as a jig to like set up where we're gonna put the, that other one. Somewhere like this, I guess. I don't know. We have something to line it up with. And then uh, I'll try to make it as flat as possible. 